Hey, how's it going? You're actually one of the main reasons I got into PC flipping. Well, I'm so sorry then, because I'm one of the reasons you just got scared. <laughs> Sponsor of today's video is Dashlane. Dashlane is a password manager that if you're not using, you're trolling. Dashlane autofills your financial and personal information every time you log in with an account you have linked with their service. It works on everything, everywhere, saving you time when you go from your computer to your phone. Between bank passwords, YouTube, email, throwaway email, Twitter, and all other accounts that might have two-factor authentication enabled, you need to be using Dashlane. Now, some of you might be thinking, no, it's fine. I use the same password for everything. There's no way I'm ever gonna forget. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Well, for those of you that do that, feel free to comment your birthday, the street you grew up on, and your first pet's name. All of a sudden, I just really feel the urge to get to know you better. On a serious note, there are people who are trying to get a hold of your personal information that can ruin everything that you have built for yourself. Protect yourself with unique passwords that Dashlane can generate and remember for you so you don't have to stress about being locked out of accounts. Stop spending time filling out forms and resetting passwords. And if you want to use the VPN and Dashlane on everything, go to dashlane.com slash Christopher to get 25% off. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So recently in a lot of my Twitch live streams, I've had people coming in thanking me for teaching them how to build computers used with secondhand parts and then flipping them to make some money as a second source of income. But I've also had people saying they've gone out, bought parts, brought them back, only to find out that they've been scammed. Now, when you're buying secondhand parts, it's usually a risk no matter what part you go with because you don't know what's happened to that part before. But of all the risks you take, the biggest one is by far the graphics card because in any computer budget, the graphics card will always cost you the most amount of money. Now, there are a few different ways that a graphics card can be broken, most of which can actually be repaired. And to actually give you a brief overview of how it could be broken, I'm gonna have my friend Chris from Coalition Gaming explain it to you really quickly because like I've said before on this channel, he is by far one of the smartest people that I've ever met when it comes to fixing what is wrong with your PC. So if you bought a graphics card secondhand and you're experiencing issues, there's always a few things you can try to get that graphics card working. First thing is, inspect the card closely. Take the cooler off the card and look for signs of burning, dark spots, or discolored areas. This can signify heat or voltage damage. While you're here, also look for signs of bulging or leaking capacitors. The capacitor thing isn't all that likely, admittedly. Second, the card could have been out and sitting for some time before you bought it. The PCIe fingers or contacts could get dirty, causing them to make a bad connection to the PCIe slot and contributing to the issues. Simple trick here is to take a pink pencil eraser and rub it along the PCIe fingers of the graphics card, which cleans those contacts. Clear off the leftover eraser bits, then give it another shot. Third, it could be something as simple as trying different video outputs of the graphics card because sometimes some of the outputs just work better than others. Lastly, the card could have come from a miner. You don't know. And if it came from a miner, well, they customized the VBIOS of the graphics card and it might appear stock, but go ahead and flash the VBIOS, the stock VBIOS back to the card. The Tech Power Up GPU VBIOS database will be able to help you with that. So anyways, here in town, there was a guy who was complaining about a GTX 1070, which if you don't know, is still a pretty nice card to have in a gaming system. Used, you typically see them go for around $200. And he said, just bought it for 150 off a guy on let go. Seems to be a dead card. If you can fix it, let me know, or please buy it off me so I'm not out of this money with what's going on right now. Open to any offers, won't give it for free though. So I reached out to him and he is willing to sell us the card for a whopping total of $30. So we're actually gonna go drive down right now, pick up this card and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. Back into the creepy Chinatown alley we go. Hey, how's it going? So I, I'm, I'm interested in trying to fix this thing first. So. Can you tell me any details about this thing? Yeah. Um, so I literally picked it up like not even yes uh, yesterday or the day before uh -huh. off a guy like middle of town right. or something. He's like, yeah, it's working all that. I didn't have time to test it. I usually have a system I could bring or something, but I didn't. Okay. So I was like, okay, you sell computers, maybe maybe it'll work. So I, I should trust it. And like, I checked the pins on the PCI stuff. It looks all good. Plug it in, try and boot it up, plug in power, all that. And it just doesn't turn off. Mind if I take a look? Oh yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I just can't help but think. Who, which reseller did you get this from? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I got it off the guy on Letgo. I believe his name was. I, I've Max seen something. his stuff. 
Okay. Uh, we're fans. Oh, say I appreciate it. You. Yeah. <laughs> You're awesome. Yeah. You're actually one of the main reasons I got into PC flipping. Well, I'm so sorry then, because I'm one of the reasons you just got scammed. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. I've got scammed quite a few times, actually, primarily motherboards. Mm -hmm. um, like three motherboards by now, two graphics cards. Probably that one's my third graphics card. Okay. Um, maybe four. Yeah. I remember like two 580s. Well, um, the the one thing that will definitely happen is the more it happens to you, the more you realize like this is not gonna work. Yeah. You just start getting a sixth sense for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we've well. gone through quite a few though. It's been pretty good. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Let me let me fix this. I want I I there's just no way this is not fixable. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna throw it into the oven. All right. Great to see you, man. See you guys later. Have a good rest of the day. Okay, so we are back with the broken card and we need to give Chris a call so we can try to figure out what is wrong with this thing. That's you. And now I need to turn on speaker so I can hear you. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Have you already tried it in the system to see if you get any display ads? No. Well, let's try that. <laughs> No, it's modular. Please tell me I have another power cable. Please don't tell me I did this to myself. Oh my god. Okay, no, no. I'm looking through the modular power supply bag right now. I'm using a different power supply. A different cable from a different company. It's fine. It's gonna work just fine. That's risky, bro. <laughs> no, never. It'll work. I think this is an EVGA. EVGA and... Oh, wait. These are all EVGA cables. Wait, no. This is perfect. See? It's just a different power supply. Same company. Same brand. It's all gonna work just fine. All right, ready, set, whoa! What does that mean? It went and then and then it stopped working. I smell smoke, Chris, I smell smoke. Chris, I smell smoke. Chris, something's on fire. I warned you with that cable. <laughs> it's both from EBGA. Let's, let's see, how dead can it be? That smells burnt. That's burnt. <coughs> it smells bad, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn. That's a nice little burned part right there. Do you think it's the entire system or just the card that's fried now? It, it would probably be just the card. Put the other one back in and see if it turns on. Hey, it lives. Okay, not all is bad. Just, you know, the fried graphics card might be permanently fried. We're not sure it is fully dead, though. True. So what do I, what do I, what do we do next? Uh, well, in my experience with graphics cards that don't have the right power cables plugged into them, it'll pop up a screen on the computer if it does give a display out saying uh, power cables plugged in incorrectly, something mm -hmm. like that. So if you just plug in the one that you know that works, we'll see if the system powers on with it. Okay, I heard a shock. Are the fans spinning on the graphics card? The fans are not spinning, Chris. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me, Chris. Do you think this? Do you think this is gone? Without having the second eight pin plugged in, I can't be one hundred percent sure. Okay. All right. Ready, 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 ready. Oh. Blip. Well. Oh wait, I see smoke. Again. What? From the graphics card? No, from the motherboard this time. From the PCIe slot? No. From this little heat sink thing. Okay, where did you see that flash of light? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I needed this PC. <laughs> no. This thing's cars, dude. Mm. Let me see what happens if I take it out. It's the graphics, dude. This thing is cursed. Card is cursed. No, but I, okay. So here's here's my serious question. So, like as of as of everything you've seen now, what do you think? Well, the common uh, denominator here is the graphics card. So the graphics card, you saw burnt or smoked from the connectors. Graphics card. We moved it into another system. Then the then the system smoked again. This time from somewhere else. But still, the common denominator is the graphics card. So at this point, there's only like. I'm about 90% sure something is up with the graphics card. There could have been a power surge that damaged it, 
the power circuit could be bad on it some, somehow. The only thing now, if you wanted to keep trying it, is if you have if you have a throwaway system. A throwaway system? Yep. Because I, I wouldn't want to keep telling you to risk risk more stuff. I have some new parts. Old. Let's test it again. Mm. Okay, it's on. Fans are spinning. There you go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is a working system now. Yeah. So because the system works, Let's make it a not working. We should, we can try the 1070 in here and see if it'll work. I'm just ready to see like the face of Satan just pop up on this thing. All right, here we go. It just, it did, it did a little dip and then it, I it, heard it. I heard it. Yeah, it just, it just gives a little dip. And then it doesn't go. Hmm. All right, well, I need the nominator again, right? All right, put the other graphics card back in. Let's just make sure the system is I mean, good. Oh, shit. Where did you go? I'm missing? There you are. OK. Oh. I, I don't know. I mean, so so take this out. Put in the other graphics card just to make sure. Yeah, I need to make sure you didn't kill anything. Uh, oh, there you go. There you go. It spins. So, and the graphics card spinning too. And last we checked, if we plug it in, just almost put my finger in the blade. That would have been fun. Yeah. So just plug. All right. Real graphics <sighs> card. Oh man, I'm so mad at myself. Uh, if I the thing is, my room is such a mess that I didn't look around to see if I had another uh, another system lying around. That would still do fine, but I more I more than likely fried this card, so we couldn't see what it would would have done for him. Well, I feel kind of bad. Today's the day I'm supposed to meet up with this guy because I told him that if I could fix the card, I would give it back to him. And then at the end of the day, all he's taking with me is a thirty dollar risk. So, let's just go down and meet him. All right, so homeboy right now is walking back inside. He's walking back inside right now. And honestly, in his car right now, he has got a GTX 1070. And you might be wondering, Chris, why does he have the GTX 1070 that you just fucked up? Well, as he drives away with his brand new card, which I would have shown the process of earlier, but my phone stopped recording last night. And this is partially the reason why I look like a homeless person right now, other than the fact that there are no barber shops open. I went out and bought a GTX 1070, the only one that was available in Vegas past midnight, and I swapped the cards. The reason I did that is because building computers and this YouTube channel and the Twitch streams and everything that has come with this has completely changed my life. If it wasn't for this, then I wouldn't have been able to pay for anything when it came to my dad's medical bills. I don't know if many of you people know this, but chemotherapy treatments, experimental treatments, insurance issues, all of that is so fucking expensive. And none of that would have been possible without building computers. And when I read this guy's Facebook post originally, before he just straight up sold the card, is that he recently got into building and flipping PCs, he's pretty new to the game. And to me, when I first got into the game, I was super lucky in that no one scammed me. No one sold me a bad part and I always got stuff that worked. And it wasn't until I started to make some money back that I realized that not everyone's gonna be straightforward and honest with you and sell you something that's supposed to work. So for this guy who watches my videos, who also is just new to the game, he doesn't deserve that experience. I don't want to sit here and tell you guys that buying and selling secondhand parts is always going to be this rainbow magical unicorn fart glitter dust world of perfect usable parts because it's not. But when you first get into the game, I think that everyone should at least 
have the opportunity of working with honest people that are not going to hustle you or not going to scam you. And for this guy, I want him to have the same experience I did. So I hope you guys found this video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it was definitely not as informative this time around. <laughs> as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And don't tell him. Don't tell him I swapped the cards. I don't know if he's going to watch this video, but don't tell him. Because you know what? If he couldn't tell the difference between the GTX 1070 models, he doesn't need to know.